Hello. My mic wasn't on. Now it's on. Hi, Gorgas. Hi, Kodak. How are you two doing? I was told by Tev to stream GT Sport. So I'm going to do that. Because I couldn't think of anything else to stream. Because it's been so long since I last streamed, I forgot how to do it. It's been like three weeks. It's a lot of time. In fact, it's been exactly three weeks, not just like it. it has been. Uh, I guess I'll jump straight into the racing, which is what you do in this game. I can... Sure, this seems stupid. Let's do it. I want ruby red, please. I don't think I'm going to have it. Well, I, I should have enough time to make one quali lap. They've updated this. They've updated this game a lot since I last streamed it. Added new cars, added new tracks. Most of which you aren't able to drive on at any given time unless you do the private lobbies because that's how this game works. It's kind of stupid. I used to cycle through the races every day. Now it's every week. Which is no. I don't like it. Oh, and this is kind of loud for me. That's why it sounds loud. No, it's not as loud for me anymore. I also finally switched to manual because it helps with fuel saving. where the breaking points are if I even need to break. Actually, be almost full throttle throughout the whole lap. Uh, not quite. I'm surprised I didn't get a penalty for that. They changed the penalty system to be less aggressive, but it's still very aggressive. Oh, that's a penalty. No? One them. Oh, yes. Okay, it is a penalty. They also don't show you the penalties for like five years after you get them. So that's a terrible time. And I'm gonna start like in the back of the pack because of it. I'm not last. That surprises me.
type in some things. Still waiting for players to finish. Get 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 ready, players. Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. Let's go. There's a weird glitch. Not necessarily a glitch, but an error. That is new in some recent update. It says like 43 seconds into warm-up begins. It's actually when warm-up ends. And it used to say it correctly. But now it doesn't say the right thing anymore. This is just some weird translation error. Not knowing which corners I need to break on. Only once I do, it's gonna be great. Probably end in me rear ending someone. And that's the warm up completed, even though it just began, apparently. So when a few more people come in the chat, if a few more people come in the chat, I'll tell you about my last three weeks in which not much exciting has happened. But perhaps a non-zero amount of exciting stuff has happened. You will be the judge of that when I tell it to you, if I tell it to you, which I probably will at some point. We start in 8th place. What is this? Whoops. Starting first, you're not in neutral. Depends on the game, whether you start in first or in neutral. Hey, Banana! How have you been lately? I've overtaken two people, somehow. I don't even remember overtaking the first person, but there we go. been a collision and a penalty, and there's another penalty up front. Making ground. I'm doing alright. I guess. I'm gonna get fourth here, I think. Breeze past them. So the big, almost exciting news is that Oh, then I went this corner first. Oh, Skip that corner. A little up tap. No penalties. Side by side for third. That might be a penalty. Give it like three years and we'll find out. Uh, no. Okay, it seems like we're good. It was more composed through that corner. I'll have him on the straight. Alright, so I'm effectively in second now because the leader has a six second penalty. really impressive how on your toes you have to be with this car, because it can just barely make most of the turns. So as I was saying, the almost exciting thing is that as of today, Taco Tom 2 is finished. 
it has been sent to Steam for approval. It is gold. Unless they say something's wrong. I have to fix it. So, oh. That's gonna be a penalty, probably. Surprisingly, no. Uh, you should actually already have the final 1.0 build. Oh, that's a penalty. Give me penalty. Where's my penalty? I refuse to believe that was not penalty worthy. Apparently that wasn't penalty worthy. See, I actually took the day off work today to finish it because I kept like making like I needed to finish the trailer. I kept making so little progr progress on it each day in the evening. I was like, I'm just gonna take today off and finish the thing. And so I finished the thing so I could upload the store page. And I also uploaded the 1.0 build. My one worry about the build is that on the Mac version only, it doesn't show like the Steam. Like when you do Alt Shift Tab to get to like your Steam stuff, that does not work on the Mac version. But I don't know if that's just to it not being officially out yet. I don't know why it's not working. So either that's the reason and it'll pass, or Steam will say there's a problem and I'll have to re-upload it. Going for the lead! That, that was... that's uh, not gonna... Oh, we get a, a bump. Okay, how is there no penalty in all of that? There are a few games on Steam where the air blade doesn't work. Okay. They didn't specifically say that they test for the overlay working on their list of things they test. They test that the game loads, which is important. Uh, they test that all the advertised features are in the game. I think there might be one other thing, I don't know exactly what it is. So somehow I'm leading this race now. I don't know how this happened. I don't really know what I'm doing. So as far as a release date for... As far as a release date for Taku Tom 2 is concerned, that depends on when the Steam store page goes live, which depends on when they get around to approving the, the, uh, the store page. Because what you're supposed to do is get the Steam store page live well in advance. Uh, but I did not do that like an idiot. I braked in that first corner when I shouldn't have, and now this guy is right behind me, but he did not go for the overtake. I said going for the push. And my safety rating went down because of that. Thank you. Yeah, 
really all depends. It'll probably be sometime on the week of the 17th, which is tricky because that's also the week the Steam Winter Sale begins, so I need to figure out how that's going to work. Probably what I'll do is like put the game on like a 25% uh, first week discount instead of like a 10% one like I was planning. So it can be like a part of the winter sale even though technically it's not. I think I've hit that wall every lap and I've never gotten a penalty. I don't get a single penalty in this race. Somehow. I was the only person who didn't get a penalty. I'm a new joke codec, but I was doing a race on the Mon the other day. I cut a high speed corner very slightly on accident, and I got a 17 second penalty because of it. Like, at most, it deserves, like, a one or two second penalty, but... This game can be strict. They also seem to have, uh, they've changed the penalties so you don't get them for light collisions. Which I think is why I didn't get any of that race, otherwise I would have. That's my 24th win. And I got the fastest lap. That was fun. I want to do this race, but I have to wait 16 minutes. I also want to do this race. I have to wait 26 minutes. I could probably do this one and then that one. I think that would be faster, actually. Because if I do this one, I'd have to wait until the 9.31 one for that one. I don't know. Let's take a look at some liveries. And also buy some things. Like... Driver Pose 12. Driver Pose 13. Performance Blue. Rhodium Silver. by all these paints that I will never use. Don't forget about the wheels, too. These shops cycle out every week. What's trending? The AT&T Corvette. <coughs> Hope you like it. It's alright. Like it's the old AT&T logo. There are a lot of good Corvette liveries. I think I have that one? I have one like that. Coors Light. All Hail America. That's interesting. That's anime. 
I'll give it a like. So what else has happened in the past three weeks since I streamed? Because... Why have I not streamed for so long? I guess because I've just been focused on Taco Tom 2. Trying to get that finished, which I have now basically done. I still need to update my website. I still need to work on the Xbox One version. Once Tev finishes her art, whenever that happens, I'll have to add that in as an update. I had a decent Thanksgiving break. I watched the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I saw Santa Claus walk down the parade path on 34th Street, which marks the official start of the Christmas season. Like you are not allowed to play it, it as far as I'm concerned you're not allowed to play Christmas music until that specific moment in time around 1155 ish a.m. on Thanksgiving Day hey it's anime more anime Scooby-Doo is not quite anime Snoopy there's anime not allowed to put the tree up until then either, that's true. Although we do have a Christmas tree in our bathroom that stays up year-round. I don't know if, how we would categorize that. I like that. And then Steelian likes this. Um, is it the one from UPA? I, I, I don't remember. I think so. I think it is. Uh, it didn't used to be year-round, year but I think my parents just got lazy. Never took it down. I really like that you can just import SVG files and ha you have them here. I don't like that they can only be 15 kilobytes large. Oh, I like that. I want that in my collection. Because it's actually a very um, small limit. A lot of times you have to compress images or cut them in two. What you thinking about? Hey, it's Sonic. It's Best Buy. I want Best Buy in my collection. More anime. Have some legs. Give me a good photo. These are good photos. that one it's like based on another photo that was an extremely descriptive sentence right there how do I feel about Raikkonen being in Salford this year I think it's pretty cool it'll be interesting to see how he does with less pressure to do well because he's not going to be in a championship contending car this year. I think he'll enjoy it. 
It's gonna be interesting to see how Leclerc do, does as well. How he will cope since he's so new. I downloaded that livery. It would not surprise me at all if he actually ends up being really competitive to Vettel. Allowing Hamilton to win because Bottas is not that competitive with him, it seems. That car doesn't have a wheel. So I could totally see, like, Hamilton winning the Drivers' Championship, but Ferrari winning the Constructors. First, who knows, maybe Red Bull will be really good with their Honda engine. Or maybe they'll be really bad with their Honda engine. Maybe they'll be about the same. It's hard to tell where they will be. Perhaps in third place, all on their own again. I mean, you've got Kvyat coming back, who is effectively the next Pastor Maldonado. I like all of these. Do you have them on your profile? Oh, he does. I'm, I'm following you. I like your Ridge Racer stuff. I don't think you have... I don't think he has those specific ones, though. Which is probably alright. Because I already have plenty of liveries on that specific car. Oh, I thought that was Dig Dug. That is not... I think they'll be closer to fourth and second because of Ricardo leading. Yeah, I don't know how good Gasly is. I Part of me thinks he's not that good. Kind of waiting so I can join the 9 o'clock race and not the 8.50 race. If I join the 8.50 race, I can't join the 9 o'clock race until 9.30. Whereas if I join the 9 o'clock race, I can join the 8.50 race at 9.30 probably, which will be faster than the other way around. That's cool. It's like you're looking down in the car. Oh good, we get to go through... Oh, it's this one. I keep finding this car. Is this the same one? With the hole in the car? Can't really tell from this camera angle. I mean, I guess he's had a couple of good results. I liked Brendan Hartley, but he wasn't very good. Unfortunately. I'm really excited to see how Keep It So will do as well. It's going to be really fascinating. Feel free to bring him in here if you want to. More the merrier. You know what they say. Ooh, I like that. Janet Steelian likes this. Is this thing on? Wait, how? What do I? Question mark. Who? Yeah, I mean... Whether or not he impresses is halfway down to whether or not Williams ends up having the worst car on the grid or not. 
they have a midfields car again next year, then he might actually be able to demonstrate some impressive results. But if he's stuck in like 19th and 20th all year again, it's going to be difficult. I only became an F1 fan this year. Didn't know that. I've been watching for... Um, I started following loosely in like 2014, but uh, last year was like the first year I started watching a lot of the races, and then this year uh, I watched pretty much all of them. A lot of neon colored cars. I think there are a couple that were like at 3 a.m. that I didn't watch. I don't think I watched China. Uh, Suzuka I watched uh, a rerun of and I missed the first hour of the USA one because I thought it was at th uh, I think I thought it was at 3 but it was at 2 I goofed either that or I thought it was at 2 and it was at 1 Oh, uh, I got group three. Do I go with the Mustang, which is my favorite for the Nürburgring, or do I go with the Taco Tom car? I think in honor... In honor of it being, um... The day that Taco Tom goes gold, I'll use the Taco Tom car. Yeah, it's harder to watch them in the east, um, in the west coast. Even after they moved all the races forward or back an hour and ten minutes, which I was really thankful for, because it means I didn't have to get up at like eight a.m. every other Sunday. Now I can get up at nine a.m. every other Sunday. I've redrawn Sapphire slightly since I made this car. Not that it matters that much. Is this game for PC? Nope, it is PS4 only. Uh, what is the fuel rate like for the race? I don't know. Well, I will use manual and I will keep an eye on it, but if it's like the races have been before, I have to pit at the end of the lap. Oh wait, this is 24 hour. I'm stupid. Consoles can die, except not the Xbox One, because Taco Tom 2 is hopefully going to be on that at some point. They have this creators program thing that allows you to, um, put games on Xbox One, kind of like uh, the indie games on 360. One of my regrets in life is never making an indie game on the 360. So this will be close enough, I guess. I did not need to bring that much black corner. I have a steering wheel, but I just don't use it. It's also not compatible with this console. Does he have an adapter? Maybe I should pick up an adapter. Now that my desk is larger, I can actually fit a steering wheel on it. Oh, I know something I did. 
over the past three weeks. I bought a new monitor that I'm going to return because I don't like it. Well, I don't dislike it, but I spent too much money on it for what it is. It's a 1440p monitor, 144 hertz. It's on a stand that swivels so it can be in portrait mode. But it was kind of expensive, even on sale. Normally it's like a $600 monitor. So I got it for uh, $350. But it's a TN screen, which means if you look at it at a weird angle, it looks weird. And because of that, it's kind of pointless to even be in portrait mode because the colors shift so much from the top to the bottom of the screen, which ends up being left to right in portrait mode, so it just looks strange. Oh, this on a, a Black Friday sale. I got tempted. I got too tempted by it. Like, I kind of need... Another monitor because one of mine's kind of on the fritz, but I mean, yeah, I... it's not really any better than my current setup. In fact, it might be marginally worse. why I'm probably going to pack it up tomorrow and return it. That was sloppy. You've put a soft cap of $100 for computer part. That's uh, tricky when it comes to CPU and GPU if you want any sort of half decent thing. Like a good CPU is gonna run you at least like 200, 200 bucks, maybe 300. GPU will run you anywhere from like 300 to like 800 if you're going really high end. It's part of the problem of why my monitor is not that great. I only have a 960 in my computer. It cannot handle. 1440p at 144 hertz for most things. Like Rocket League will run at 1080p 60 totally fine. It will not run at 1440p 60. It, it struggles a little bit. Pitches every now and then. Of that corner. That's a bad corner to mess up because it leads to this long straightaway, so you lose a good deal of time if you're slow out of it. You've broken your soft cat like five times. Yeah, that'd be kind of hard not to if you want to build any sort of decent computer, I'm afraid. Sounds like a pretty good CPU. It's an i7, i5, i3, i negative 419.
Oh, that's a good penalty. Thanks, Satan. That really was not a good section as a whole. I said giraffe penis for Fiji at first. <laughs> I read it wrong. Best times already finished 10 seconds ago. off a little bit of penalty so it's not satanic anymore. It's a good um, 37 seconds off the pace of the world record time. I think so. it still might be a fairly competitive time. It's because this track is so long. Also, this lap got invalidated because of that penalty, I think. Because I kept the penalty through the end of the lap. Which seems silly. So I got it like halfway through the lap. Uh, the world record was set in this car, I believe. I can check. Even if I qualify towards the back, I could climb up the field and win. That's what I did in the first race. Went from 8th to 1st. Also, I'm kind of new to using manual transmission in this game, so that could be part of it. Fifth place! Oh, look at look at these different qualifying times. We got number one, 8-10, then we got 8-14, 17-19, 15 second gap between fourth place and me. Then a five second gap, then it's 40, 43, 45, 56, 58, 9 minutes. 901, 918, 940, it's all over the place. Realistically, probably not gonna do higher than fifth unless one of those top four people make a mistake, which is possible. But yeah, I feel like I feel like there could be just a lot of people by themselves. 
It'll be interesting to see if the people who haven't uh, made a qualifying time can do anything. Maybe some of them are really good. Actually, judging by their driver rating, probably not. If you drive like Pastor Maldonado, your safety rating goes down. Your sportsmanship rating, as it's called, technically. And having a bad sportsmanship rating is bad. You don't want it. You don't want to be a bad sport. You want to be a good sport. Pit in, pit out. That amuses me for whatever reason. Sharing Taco Tom 2 with the world. With my not very good livery. Gran Turismo, good sport, yes. Hey, Tev. It's weird seeing your name not being Tev. I can't drive like that. I'm sorry. Did you change your name color too to gray instead of pink? It's like you're a completely different person. Do this maybe I don't know the goal is to win by at least two minutes right oh, there's been a spin out Someone's overtaking me, someone's trying to spin me out. A lot of activity, and I'm still in fifth. Let's try to get this guy, because we qualify better than him. Uh, how am I doing on... Um, I should probably, um, I'll try to get guy past this guy, um, it's kind of hard, oh that sucks. Falling backwards. It's not good. Uh, so I have plenty of fuel. But if I short shift, I might be able. This guy is going for. I, was, I probably made that too easy for him, honestly. For positions, oh, that's sketchy. It was, oh dear. I think he was already spinning out by the time I hit him. 
Regardless, both me and the guy in front of me got penalties. I got a worse penalty. This guy's gonna pass me, maybe? No, he's not. He's gone off the track attempting it. Oh, that seems like a good place to get rid of your penalty right there. Did I pit maneuver him? It wasn't intentional. But if I did, I did. I'm not saying I don't deserve the penalty. Uh, sucking so badly. Wow, thanks, Cecil. A year ago. I'm doing alright, I guess. I have finished Taco Tom 2. At least the Steam version. Hopefully. The Steam has problems with it that I need to fix. But I submitted the store page and the build for approval. great past few days, but other than that, I've been alright. Thanks, Tev. Yeah, that Valve needs to take a look at the games you submit to make sure that they work and have the features you claim they have. My game has all the features it claims it has. I think it works. I had a bit of a scare earlier today when I put a build of the game on Steam and it didn't work. I don't know why it didn't work. I think it was just a bad export from my engine that I use. So I exported it again and it worked. This guy is being sloppy. He's too sloppy. I even fourth this up ahead. This might actually turn into quite an exciting battle. Too. 
What's everyone doing? We're going off the track. I'm getting squirrely there again. Uh oh, now I'm off the track. And after all that, we're back in fifth place. Right where we started. Why are they releasing all the hentai games? Because Steam now officially allows porn. But they were putting a lot of games out with hentai in the name before them as well. Because people like hentai and they buy them, like me. I still haven't actually played What was the one that I bought? Hentai Tricycle Race or whatever? Out of pit. I want soft tires. Oh, are you allowed to choose which tires you used? Is that what it was? Is that why it was so bad? Because you could use soft tires and I was using the hard tires. Well then. Previously, I think you could only use um, hard tires, but it looks like they would be the option there. I should have been second or whatever. I didn't realize I had the option. You hit it behind a menu. again now with the knowledge that I can use soft tires from the start. It depends on the race. Um, they have different settings for like tire and fuel wear speeds. So it could be anywhere from like one times reality. Oh dear, what am I doing? To like way more than one times like, some races would be like, 13 times tile wear. And 9 times fuel usage or whatever. Penalty. At least it's not 17 seconds. It's a reasonable amount of penalty. I will accept that. I'm trying to read what you're saying. I'll Hopefully have a chance in a second. What car am I driving? I'm driving the Toyota. The, the new Toyota. Or at this point, I guess, the less old Toyota.
Yeah, slowing down gets rid of the penalty. So you can either slow down and get rid of the penalty, or you can carry the penalty to the end of your race, and it will be added on to your race time at the end. It is generally faster to slow down during the race to serve your penalty. What a lot of people will do, and what I will do, is at the very end of the race, right before the finish line, you slow down to a crawl and get rid of your penalty. Because it will go down by faster than the second second. You can't really get rid of the penalty on slow sections of the track like chicanes for that reason, because you can just go a bit more slowly through them and then get rid of your penalty. Actually, you have to make a, a concentrated effort. Concerted effort? recently. That's not good. I'm almost crashing my car by trying to read what you're saying. Ah, uh, yeah, you have to slow down pretty significantly. So I have to start counting down. Most times. Sometimes it'll seem like you barely have to slow down at all. It's not the most consistent thing in the world. Well, it seems like this is going to be a pretty boring second lap. The guy in fourth is faster than me. The guy in sixth is 17 seconds behind. I don't think we're I don't think we're going to see another car before the end of this race. Daniel Ricardo of F1 drivers right now, just stuck in sixth place all on their own. Possible someone in front will crash. Although they'd have to crash pretty significantly. There's not many corners left for them to crash. Whoa! Cohen? No. No Cohen. Don't fling me off the track, please. Thank you. Let's go wide in that corner. Please refuel. I wish it didn't say please refuel on the last lap. I understand why they do in case like, you need to conserve fuel. Like you need to go to like fuel map 6 or whatever to not run out to have the information. No one told you to watch me play GT Sport. Tev told me to stream it. I guess she didn't tell you to watch me stream it.
And thus we end. I didn't bother slowing down because it was pointless. The gap was so large. Twelve second gap to fourth, the fourteen second gap to sixth. What an unexciting second half of that race. Safety rating went down slightly. Ah, uh, yes, it did. Rip. Because I accidentally pit maneuvered someone. Sorry, whoever that was. Well, I finished where I said I would. And now we can do the group four race. What's th what's the best car? It's Hurricane, apparently. Do I have it? I think so. I do not. I wonder what the second best car is. I'll just enter with... I think I'll enter with the Vantage because this is my go-to car. Don't have a Group 4 Taco Tom car. The Toyota that I was just driving is my only one, unfortunately. I do tend to accidentally run into people. Just why my safety rating is not S, although it used to be for a while. Hard tires only for this one. How long did it take me to make deliveries? Um, putting them on the car, it's actually a bit more complicated than it probably should be, so it was like... Uh, probably like an hour to put them on the car, and then making deliveries was like another hour or two because I had to convert them with some weird online tool. I also had to make like the background, which I wasn't good at. Oh, uh, this is not a group three car, it doesn't turn. Like a, a group three car does. Are you saying an hour is a really short time? I don't know if an hour is long or short. It's a good start. Excessively long. Not the easiest thing in the world. Try to warm up by driving the worst car possible. Let me grab my VW bus.
my racing you can have F1 2012 and Real Racing 3. I have a fun, um, oh, that's a wonderful corner there. Where's my penalty? There it is. I'm gonna restart. Hey, Indiv, I've never heard of you before. How are you a moderator? How are you doing? Do they do the thing where doing this is not a penalty? Did they not fix that? They didn't fix that. Oh, they fixed that. They fooled me. Wait, Tim was in my channel? Uh, yeah, I was saying Tim. I have F1 2018, which I meant to stream, and I never did. I'm not gonna get a better lap in, am I? Probably gonna start towards the back, because that lap I did was not great. Yes, Cecil. I have 2012, 2015, 2016, 2018. 2015 I got for free. 2012 I paid like five bucks for. The others I bought at close to full price, like 45 each. I didn't play 2016 much. I played 2018 even less. Oh, I can't, it won't let me do donuts. Can't play multiplayer. Okay, Codemasters games have the weirdest bug I've ever heard of. Which is that, on my computer, for whatever reason, when you start online stuff in a game, like when you go into online mode, after around 15 minutes, the game will crash. Unless you have the on-screen keyboard feature disabled in your computer. Like, if I go into Windows and disable the on-screen keyboard, like, from working entirely, then the game will be fine. Otherwise, after 15 minutes after going online, the game will crash. I have no idea how I figured out that was the solution to the problem. I think someone... On Reddit was like, hey, try, or er, on the Steam forums, was like, hey, try this, and it worked. Well, the on screen keyboard is on by default. Like, it's enabled by default, and then you click, you click on, like, the bottom right, and there's this keyboard icon, and you click it, and then the on screen keyboard pops up. You don't need it. But it's there. Oh, game crashed. Great. Now I'm the one who got kicked out. Well, I guess we're not doing that race. I think this happened once before. I think I'm going to get kicked out until I restart the game again. But hey, I completed my daily workout. I can win a car. It's going to be one of the ones I already have. Ah, uh, I, I am 90% sure I already have that car. Let's find out. Oh, uh, yes, I already have it. Cool, thank you. Somehow I have 12 Peugeots. 
How has this happened? I have three Greet Me Rally cars. I have three of these. What do you do with dupes? Nothing. You just let them sit forever. I mean, technically, you can... Can you sell them? What happens if I try to sell this thing? A gift card cannot be sold. I guess this one I purchased. What if I sell this? Oh boy, 8,775 credits. Yeehaw. Toyotas. That is not a lot of credits. I right now I have 3.4 million credits. Uh, it's actually not that easy to come by. It's easy to come by at the start of the game because you can do all the driving challenges and they give you a bunch. After that, you don't really have that much. I've kind of tried to stay roughly even where I am credits wise, although I have to down to like 2 million before. Well, at one point I was up to like 7 or 8 million. Uh, so the credits are good for buying cars and that's it. It's the only thing you can do with credits in this game, I think. This car was at it in the latest update. It's very expensive for some reason. The F50 is coming in the next update, which I'm looking forward to that. I like the F50. Also, fun fact, to my knowledge, the Toyota GT86 is the only car in this game that has a price that does not end in zero. So if your price is uh, does not end in a zero, that means that you have purchased a GT86. It's 29,052 credits for whatever reason. And I think if you sell the car, you'll get Like an odd number of credits back. So if you buy a specific number of GT86s and then sell a specific number of them, you can have uh, your number on the far right be anything you want. Probably reflects the IRL price, but none of the others do to the dollar. Unless they happen to end in like a hundred or, or whatever. Let's do the the beetle race again. Actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna be bold here. I'm gonna quit out and reload it because I'm worried that it will kick me out of the race again. Hopefully we can get back in time. I think we will. I don't have a PS4 theme, it's true. I should get the breakfast one. Hey, Brian. How are you doing? It annoys me that you can't press start to skip that. Always instinctively press start, but you have to press circle.
I'm gonna go with red again. I feel confident in my choice of red. It's what let me win the race last time. Vroom vroom. I mean, I would assume the PS2 theme is just like PS2. Let's get rid of that traction control. Let's go drifting with our beetles. This was full throttle, right? Yes. This is where I messed up on. So I thought it wasn't full throttle. Like really the first half of this lap is all full throttle. Probably, yeah. We're, we're pushing 105 here. That was a bump. No penalty for that bump? Alright. I think this corn, this corn is a full throttle corn. This one is not, right? Yeah, the, the, that's the one that I kept messing up on. This one's definitely not a full throttle corner. This one is just like a little, a little bit off the throttle. That was a bit drifty. It's an improvement of our quality time last time. Still not great. Running in the 90s with a beetle. I wish they would um, put in the actual. Was it the Shotoku Expressway? Like the one in Tokyo Extreme Racer, because that is a real expressway. I imagine there are reasons why that is not feasible. How does a D driver have a 141? Uh, maybe they got lucky, maybe they just got the game. Maybe they're smurfing. Based on my driver rating, I should win this. I won the last race. Hello. Uh, I think if you do the... There's an oval race in single player. In the... Uh, I think the Expert Series? The one before the Endurance ones. There's an oval race in one of the first ones that you can do with like a KTM crossbow and bring down the PI to something really low or the end to something really low and you can get a ton of credits with it.
Yeah, I'm leaving the pits. Pit out. Alright, let's go for the win. We've already gained one position before the race has even started, so making progress. Why is the chat race kind of open? I don't know. The world's fastest start begins right now. And we approach the first corner at a blistering 85 miles an hour. And I squeeze through here. No. Let's not accidentally pit maneuver anyone else. Let's get this corner good and maybe we can gain a few positions. Look at that. Uh oh, uh oh. We gotta spin out. Look at that. We're up to second. Fifth to second in one corner. This guy's going drifting. You can't go drifting. Oh, look at that. Into the lead. Even need a whole lap. Always forget that corner. That's the corner you need to break the most for on the track. Will we get a penalty? The judges say no. I got I got away with that one. Okay, my goal for the next lap is to not hit the wall in that corner. It might be the first time in history I have not hit the wall in that corner. Hashtag Tin will hit the wall. Hashtag Tin will do something stupid and lose. Guy behind me has the draft. Nothing I can do about that. I don't think they're going to go for a move through this corner. That would be. Not smart. Oh dear that. Okay. You do need to break a little bit there. Again got away with it. Aha, I didn't hit the wall. I did hit a different wall though, so let's try to do a lap without hitting any walls. Oh, 
I'm actually outside of the draft range now. I've escaped. At this point, I can run away with it. Yeah, it was a lot slower than the poly lot. I don't know why that is. Because at this point, people should be able to go at quality base. It should be mostly spread far enough out that other people aren't getting in the way. Unless. Maybe it's possible that the people who got like the 141s did some strategic wall grinding. Which they would risk doing in the race. FL means fruity loops. You should open this game, Brian. You've had it for like, what, a year now? We should race each other. Thanks for sharing, Vinny. Stupid. Forgot. Again, I have avoided penalties. And I have won the race. Despite crashing into that wall again. 
Hey, not everyone got penalties this time. I will give you a virtual internet hug as well, Tev. May your computer spontaneously fix itself. Who said FL initially? I didn't see. Or was it just Finny asking what FL means? I don't know. Why does my Beetle have more than four gears? I guess it has a, a race-modified transmission. I did it. Thanks for the race! Hey, my safety rating is S now. Went back up to S. Daryl said he loves me. Thank you, Daryl. Love you too. Why is this one at 22.10? Why can't it be at 22 o'clock? Which one do we do, chat? The group four on the Red Bull ring or the group three on the Nürburgring? Keep in mind this one you have to wait another 10 minutes. Or another Beetle race. That's also an option. You don't like the Nürburgring? I do. Or the Nordschleife. I'm not a huge fan of the Grand Prix circuit. Beetle again. Keep hitting the wall. Okay, we've got to vote for the uh, Beetle race. We got to vote for the Nurburgring. Any wanna? Anyone wanna vote for the Red Bull ring to make it deadlocked? Another Nurburgring. I kind of want to do the Nurburgring because. Now I know about using soft tires. So I should be able to do better this time. Assuming you actually can do soft tires. I would assume so, because everyone had the soft tire icon. Watch out for songs. Alright, songs, if you play, I'm gonna have to murder you. I'm gonna play some RR3. Ridge Racer 3? No, Ridge Racer 3 was not called Ridge Racer 3, it was called Rage Racer, I think. I think that was the third one. Car settings. Racing. Soft. Give me the soft tire. Yeehaw. Yeah, that's all fine and dandy. Oh, Real Racing 3, yes. I have that on my phone. They have so many events in that game now. I actually played it uh, a couple weeks ago just just to see what it was like. Gotta get used to fast cars again. They have so many events now. I think, like, I looked at like, my career percentage and it was like, it was either 0% or 1%. And that was after playing the game for some time. Also, it's a mobile game with absurdly high prices for any of the cars you actually want to drive. It's 
35% free XP. When I say I play it for some time, I mostly mean I played it some time ago. Like, a little bit. But yeah, I really haven't done much beyond the amateur series, cause, just because I don't like it that much, honestly. I did a few of the um, Formula E challenges on Hong Kong, that was alright. Personally, I thought Real Racing 2 was a better game. I don't even know if you can buy Real Racing 2 anymore. Also, car-wise, it's probably a bit outdated by now. Real Racing 2 you can actually beat in less than like 500 hours. Because I did beat it and it took me like... I don't know how long it took. Probably not more than 10 hours. They remove it. That doesn't surprise me. This Real Racing 3 is definitely more profitable. Oops. Give me that penalty. Sock it to me. See, I don't understand this game sometimes. I don't understand the penalty system, but sometimes it's like, you get a penalty, and other times it's like, nah, you don't get a penalty, and other times it's like, 17 seconds for doing this. And other times it's like, no penalty for doing that. Don't do that in real life. It might hurt. I like Google Play Rewards on Android. You just answer survey questions and they give you free Google Play credits. I have like $7 in Google Play credits saved up. It's dinner time. Have fun eating. I do answer truthfully on those surveys. Especially the ones where they asked me if I forged for truffles in the past three months. Like, what do you mean, have I forged for truffles? Like, 90% of them are like, have you been to this store recently? And it's like, it's always a store I've been to either yesterday or two days ago. Or sometimes I've not been to any of the stores they list. Yeah, they definitely track you. So if you get on Google's bad side, they know where they they know where you are. They can send a hitman to assassinate you. So be careful. You're qualified fourth for this race. Uh Third place is close by, so that's good. Could have a good battle with them. First and second will probably fly away. The others are whatever. Fifth through eighth might get involved. My goal is podium. My goal is to finish in the top three. And with racing soft tires, I might be able to do it.
I feel like if I had known it that you could use racing soft tires, I would have qualified in probably the high 810s. Do I guess? Like an 817 maybe? I don't know for sure because I didn't use them. Some people seem to use the mediums. I don't know why you would. I don't see any advantage to that in this particular race. Your goal is death. Well, do I have some news for you? Give it like 50 or 60 years. Got Deus Volt in pole position. Let's go. Vamanos. I used to have a layout that worked better for this game, didn't I? And I got rid of it. Oops. I just realized that the chat used to be on the bottom left, I think. Or no, I think the chat was on the bottom right in Kapar bot. And... That was uh, rather bumpy. Not gonna let sixth place get ahead of me. Not a great start for me, very bumpy. Let it go through. Oh, can I get through here? Is this a gap? Not quite, not quite, almost though. There, what are they doing? Uh, okay. Yeah, they're gonna squeeze me. I don't trust them. Unfortunately, I read the harder part of the track to pass, which is most of it. Like right there, like. If you stick to the middle of the road, it's pretty much impossible to get past. Can't even see where I'm going at this camera angle. Not going to attempt to pass through there. That would be the sketchiest thing. I'll try to get a good exit out of here. Again, not quite good enough. No 
know where to put the car. that worked. I didn't get a penalty for it. They did. They're not close to me anymore, so, so I think I might have pushed them off accidentally. But at least it wasn't a pit maneuver, because I didn't get a penalty for it. I might get a penalty for that, though. Turn car. So we gotta make up seven seconds here. Did I get a license yet? Like a real life license? Or like a, a Gran Turismo license? There are no Gran Turismo licenses in this game. Uh, not like there were the other games at least. Real life license. Yes, I did. I did manage to get a real life license and I drive myself to and from work every weekday. Except for the week except for the weekdays where there is no work. Because of holidays or whatever. And also today, because I took today off to finish Taco Tom 2. So I was worried I would never get it finished if I didn't. We're actually allowed quite a few days off, so... I wasn't too worried about it. Rather than it was kind of a spur of the moment decision. Okay, we're good. The section's really challenging, but it's really fun because it flows very quickly. River really doesn't have very many slow speed quarters. Where's the yellow flag? Oh, third place is messed up. We're seven seconds ahead. They are not anymore. Messed up again. That's a weird way to mess up, like they turned into tight, or maybe they had a penalty they were getting rid of. Second place is only four seconds away. I, I actually gained a lot of time there once I got past that guy. Was seven seconds to third, now seven seconds to the lead. Oh, 
Well, it's a two-lap race. You're supposed to pit at the end of the first lap. Everyone is... What are, what are you doing? You're trying to annoy me, apparently. Everyone pits at the end of the first lap. You can't really do two laps. Without pitting. Let's go. Not a sloppy from them. I'm right in their tail. Right, they made no attempt there. Good turn. Don't let my tires warmed up yet. Or maybe I just suck. Yeah, okay, they made no attempt there to block me. For it, couldn't quite make it. So I like the radar, it helps you figure out where you need to put your car in situations like that. By the way, this is my outlap, and please refuel. You're gonna see both of those for the rest of the race. So we have 8.6 seconds to the leader. Can we catch him? I'm gonna guess no. Give a good old try. are gaining. Okay, the leader seems to be very conservative right now. We're gaining quickly. I uh, cannot turn it off in the settings. To my knowledge. There's someone right behind me. It is the guy who was in pole position. They're probably going to get past me, I would think. I can make it as hard as possible for them. distance. They're catching him and we're trying to hold back third at the same time.
turned into quite an interesting race. I also feel like I'm doing a very good lap so far. He's gonna get through. I can't do anything about that. Unless I can. I've held him back for now. See that place through the carousel. You're not doing this too wide. It's a good attempt holding it back. They're gonna catch the leader. Fun fact, assuming that everyone pitched like they're supposed to on this race, no one can actually set a fastest lap. Because your in-laps and your out-laps to the pits don't count, and your first lap is an in-lap. And your second... Uh-oh! Critical error by the guy in second. It's all up to us to catch the leader now. I don't think... I don't think I have enough time. So we get a super good exit out of here and we're not going to because I botched it horribly. <laughs> and we get a penalty on top of it. Great, thank you. I was gonna say this. I thought this was gonna be. A, I thought this was a really good lap for me until that happened. I have to make a dumb mistake at least once in race. Fit a second. I said I wanted a podium. I got my podium. I don't think I would have won. I don't think I would have had a chance to win even if I hadn't done that. I would have been outside the draft range. One, two for the Supras. I gave us some good races today, so far. 
I don't know if I'm doing more or not. My driver rating neither went up nor down. It stayed the same. Let's give this one a try. Maybe it'll let us do it this time. Etc. Let's watch me miss this turn ten times again. That would be quite a thing. There is the Mercedes F1 car in this game, but there are no events right now that are using it, as he did online. I don't think there are enough people watching who have this game for me to start up a lobby. Maybe I could find one, I don't know. There is offline, I could do that. I could race against the computers. Personally, at one point I was keeping up with the offline events. I was beating all of them, but then they had too many. This girl's giving me enough. Oh God, I can't. Luna! I was trying to read that message. You know, it scrolled at the very top. My school is giving me enough financial aid for me to get a bunch of race game shite, but obviously there is more, probably more important things to buy. Probably. Like subscriptions to Tab. Yes, and subscriptions to me for only $4.99 a month. You can buy a Taco Tommy mode. And allow me to not die of starvation even though I will not die of starvation even if you don't subscribe. See, all I have to do is mention subscribing. And then I get a new subscriber. Thank you, Luna, for the Twitch Prime subscription. Enjoy your Taco Tommy mode. I greatly appreciate it. I do have subscriptions. He gave me bits. Anyone with bits also, well, I think some people can choose not to have a sub button, but pretty much anyone with bits also has a sub button. I do have emotes. I have, uh, a Taco Tommy emote is a $5 emote. And then my others are driving off white circuit. No, that's not one. Um, I have a clip art wow, which is 
ten dollar one. Oh wow, thank you for the five hundred bits. And thank you, Cecil. Wait for it to pop up if it does. There it is. Thank you, Cecil. Sub. Enjoy your Taco Tom emote as well. Appreciate both of you. You're both exceptionally valid people. that car. Oh, do I actually, did I actually add the meme runs? FFC mode? I forgot I did that. It's a category that has such an unfortunate name, yet somehow is one of the best descriptors of what my channel tends to be. Holy macaroni! Seasel! You have just made me make some pasta the property of God. That was impressive. Thank you so much for the 5,000 bits. the new undisputed king of the leaderboard. It's gonna take a lot to beat that, I think. Thank you so much again. You are incredibly valid. In unrelated news, I've qualified in fifth. to see if I recognize any names. It used to be, back when I played this, like, a few months after it came out, I would usually recognize, like, one or two names each race, but I haven't recognized anyone in a long time. Probably people either moved on or I fell too low in the ranking system. Because I used to be higher. I used to be, like, um, I guess 99. They have... Uh, numeric ratings for sportsmanship, which I don't actually show you in the game, but you keep, but like, you can find them in a third party app. So 99 is the highest that can be. I used to be 99. I think that's where all the good people are. All the recognizable names are at 99, and I haven't been there in a while. Speaking of taking out loans for Twitch bits, I don't think they're doing it anymore. But they were having an offer where you could um, buy 2,500 bits for $25. Which, usually when those offers pop up, I tend to buy them just because it's like, hey, bits for essentially, like, Twitch gets nothing, essentially. The viewers get 100%, so it's just like Yeehaw! donating through PayPal or whatever. One bit! A true threat to Cecil's reign. Thank you for the bit, Luna. I can't wait to inevitably get a penalty on the second last corner because I forget to break there. Oh, 
Also, the Hurricane seems to be objectively the best car for this track. Seems like they did fix the driving off the track. It was fine. Bug. Wait, where did... Wait, how, how are they 14? What am I missing? They're... They're third. They're not 14. <laughs> I'm not sure what has happened, but I think the game has glitched in some manner. To the dismay of that one person going for a pass. That's how you pass. That's a clean pass. I actually pass someone cleanly for once. Thank you for the... I believe it's two bits. Thank you, Blue. Three bits, Blue. Do I hear four bits? There's a, a bit of driving off the track there. I think they got away with it. Oh, hey, Nitromo is third now. I think once they all cross the finish line, uh, it fixed itself. Whoa! Hello. So Nitro's back in it. We're up to second now. I forgot they can watch ads for bits. I think because it always never let me do it for whatever reason. It was like that for some people. I don't know if it's because they have ad block on or what. But even when I removed ad block, it's like, no ads for you 95% of the time. So then they just stop caring. I'm gonna go off the track, aren't I? Well, I didn't go off the track, but I did lose the position because I took such a bad line. I also got a penalty there. I mean, I don't mind that much because, like, I have like 3,000 bits in hand. Uh oh, they've gone. Nope. Kind of. There, yes, they've gone. It took them a while to spin out, but they got there in the end. Third place has a penalty. Let me take advantage. Gotta be careful on this corner. Not to accelerate out too early. Easy to spin the car. Thank you for the... I don't know how many bits that is. Too busy driving the sand. Just something you should probably not do in golf. It's probably not something you should do in racing either. It is one, two, ten, I think. Round about ten bits. Thank you. Thank you for those bits. Hey, 
pace is not that good this race. Yeah, I, I kind of do too. I mean, I'm probably close now. I've reached um, the first hundred in... I think I got, I think I got the money in mid-October, which means I reached at the end of August, I think. See, I wouldn't be surprised if today actually put me over, put me very, very close. Yeah, Twitch charges a large premium on bits, but it's how they make their money. You know, they take 50% of subscriptions, and they take roughly 30% of bits. So, like, if you want as much of your money as possible to go to the streamer, it's better to donate to them directly. However, that being said, I don't actually have a donation link, so... I used to, but I didn't want too many ways to give me money once I got bits, so I just left a few bits. I gave my, um, I think I might open up a Patreon or a coffee or something once Taco Tom 2 comes out. I don't know how that would work exactly. Yeah, hey, last two corners weren't great. I don't remember being this bad at them, honestly. Or maybe it was just that when I played this track in GT6, they didn't care if you cut that corner. That might have been it. I, I think that's it. I think I just ran right there all the time and it didn't matter. I don't know, based on like what I quote unquote produce, like how a coffee would work for that, considering I produce streams and video games. I finished fourth. Tim's still a long way. Uh, you can kind of check. You can, if you go to your dashboard on the left, there should be an option towards the bottom called revenue or something like that. And you can set the time, uh, the starting date from before you became affiliate to today and then it will tell you all the money you've ever made and since you've made um less than 100 you know as soon as you hit 100 then you've reached the payout minimum but once you hit more than 100 it gets a bit tricky because say you got like 105 you got you know you got five extra bucks at the end of the month so twitch gives you 105 then, you know, at, at 200 you still got $5 more before you reach the payout, so... Once you've made a lot, it gets tricky.
I don't know if I want to do that one again. Unfortunately, we would have to wait 17 minutes to do another one. I wonder if anyone is playing Trackmania Turbo right now. Where are you? There you are. Oh, actually, I wanted to do the Formula One car. I'll probably go back after this then. I just want to see if anyone's playing this online right now. I have a feeling the answer is not really. But this is a great game. All the Track Mania games are great. This one definitely has the best presentation of all of them. I've got what to look for. You're looking for revenue. Looking for how much money you made. Um. But no, I, you're looking for like this, there should be a start date and an end date to search for. Your start date, you want to set that for before you became an affiliate. Uh, can we sort by players, please? Apparently not. So we got one lobby that kind of has some people in it. 19 people might sound like a lot. It's kind of not a lot in Trackmania terms. You can easily have like 100 player lobbies. Which maybe at like 5 p.m. You might have. Because this game's a lot more popular in Europe than it is in the States. Also, this stunts, which means you can spin. Which is strange. But the goal is still to finish the fastest, I think. Wow. Oh, that's not great. Let's put some holes in the road. Oh, gotta keep going. Keep going. We kind of made it. Okay, that kind of worked, almost. I don't know if you're supposed to keep your revenue secret or not. Oh, I'm not gonna make it, am I? Uh, turbo. Okay, we. I forgot that there is a turbo. Stunt mode. The stunt mode is not the mode normally people ever play. I mean, you could just like refer to your revenue in terms of like bananas or something, like say I own. Whoops. You could say, like, I own 35 bananas. We're actually talking about having $35 in revenue, but no one would be the wiser.
a 51.22 pounds of bananas and holding by the banana company. Wow. It's actually more than I thought we had. Okay, we've gotten a few bits recently. Haven't been in the past few streams of yours, I don't think. Somehow I shaved 20 seconds off. I don't know where I lost so much time. Sad that there won't be any more art streams for a while, because I like those. I think as a group we are collectively saddened. Whoops, I didn't mean to press that button. I ruined it. I think as a group we are collectively saddened by the loss of your properly functioning computer it is now an improperly functioning computer surprised I made that not like it matters because they don't have enough time to finish now Oh yeah, I forgot, that means you won't be able to make your your goal, your timeline goal, that's a shame. Oh yeah, that's right, you can, you can hop in stunt mode as well. All a bit silly. I'm gonna meet my goal of releasing Taco Tom 2 in 2018 by a matter of like days. originally back in like so back in last year I think my goal was to release it sometime this year and around February I decided or maybe January January February I said I wanted it to be wanted it to be out in June which that obviously didn't happen uh, so then June comes around it was July I think I decided on November 8th was what I was working towards. Um, that obviously didn't happen. So around the end of September or October, I said November 29th, which is today. It is not out today. 
So in my head I said, okay, December 13th, another two weeks. And it's not going to make that either because the store Steam page, the Steam store page rather, has to be um, listed as coming soon for two weeks before you can release the game. And December 13th is two weeks from today and it has not just... The Steam store page has not been, um, has not been checked yet. I put it in the queue to be checked today, which means hopefully by like Monday or Tuesday of next week, I'll be able to put it out, and then probably it'll be out like almost exactly two weeks after that happens. Really, the release date is almost entirely up to whenever Steam gets around to putting the store page live. See, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to put the store page live well before your game comes out. But I was waiting until I had the character art to make the trailer, and you need a trailer before you can put your Steam page live. For a while I wasn't planning on doing the character art myself, but I decided that I wanted to, just to have a more unified style throughout the game. And then Tev's character art uh, will still be in the game when she finishes it as like an option. Which I think would be cool. Although since her tablet broke, that might not be for a while. But that's fine. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that's what I meant. That your tablet broke in the sense that you can't use your tablet. I know it's not the tablet part of the equation that broke. I win. Uh, when is the switch port? Uh, unfortunately, probably never, because the engine I use does not support the switch. Incidentally, it does support the Wii U. <laughs> Maybe it could be the last Wii U game released. Although I don't actually know if a Wii U would be powerful enough to run it. Just because of how inefficient the engine is. Uh, it'll probably be post-release content, and it will be free. That's bad. That's not good. No. 
Don't f oh, I fell off. Fiddlesticks. This game reminds you of Asphalt 7. It's not the game I would have picked. I can kind of see where you're coming from. The skyline, nice. This reminds me of Track Made in Age since forever. Huh, I wonder why. Thank you for the host, Silver Sonic. everyone who joined from that just playing some racing games it's a bit of a chill stream I guess I'm gonna set it for streaming all right Tev thanks for watching I might host you after the stream in fact I probably will That was a perfect backflip 1080. Wait, how am I 18 seconds behind? I should just restart. Hey, I earned a trophy. I tend to be a fan of the shorter tracks in Trackmania, like the ones that are like 15 seconds. Because then you can like absolutely perfect those. Whereas these, I have a much harder time like perfecting them. I'm not going to make this, am I? Oh, I am. We're fine. Oh my god. We're going to hit the side. We're good. 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 Did lose some time. Sloppy. Okay, we will make this good. There we go. Finally, that corner properly. And now I don't remember where to go after here. I think it's just this U turn, that's it. Yep. I don't think I am. Pr and I gained one position, I think. Don't have time to go again. Single player mode in this is really fun as well because you battle ghosts, try to get the gold medal times, and then the track master times after that, which is really hard. This game can get super difficult. Especially because if you get track masters on all 200 single player levels, which is insanely difficult, and lacks a whole other set of difficulties, like 
up to the super track master where like you have to be like one of the best people in the world quite literally to be able to get a super track master to my knowledge there might only be like two people who have gotten all the super track masters I don't know, there might be more now. It's two people as of, like, a long time ago. Like, a year ago. Good luck, have fun. Yeah, hey, Asphalt 7 is kind of an old game now. I remember when this first came out on PlayStation Plus, which is how I have this. It was really fun because like, you have a whole bunch of people playing it who've never played the game before. And then like I had played it before, I had beaten all 200 levels with gold medals on PC. So I was like getting first place in 100 person lobbies all the time. But also those were like 15 second tracks, not... Not these two minute long tracks. Also not stunt mode. Good, <laughs> good. I think you probably heard that notification. That was me. Oh, Wipeout HD is such a great game. I have the Omega Collection on PS4. You know, I should stream that. That would be fun. Let me do that. First, let me move the things out of the way of my PS4 so I can actually inject the Gran Turismo disc. Oh, you want to give her a bunch of bits? If you want, I can just host her now. It's fine with me. And then I can stream again some other time. Wha Thank you for your very thoughtful and insightful comment. Well, I also want to see you give the 5,000 bits to her. I want to be able to say, I was there when that thing happened. So why don't why don't we host her? That would be fun. So it is... Uh, oh yeah, it's not Tev216 anymore. It is... Hold on, I have to... I don't have to do that. I have to do in here raid. Uh... 
Uh, invalid username. Why is it invalid? Is there an zero there? Yes, that's it. You're already there. Alright, I'm gonna raid. Give me just a second to get to my dashboard so I can say yes, I, I do want to raid. Because apparently it's not automatic. To go to your dashboard and click. Alright guys, thank you for watching me play some racing games. I might do this again sometime, I don't know. Probably stream again sometime, that's the thing. So, um... Yeah, I'll catch y'all later. Go watch Tev slash triple X, Dr. Forgotten Queen triple X. Bye-bye.